Finding the best laptop for programming can be a game changer for developers. While any modern laptop can handle basic coding, serious software development demands specific features that can make or break your productivity. The ideal programming, laptop strikes a delicate balance between performance, portability, and display quality. You'll want enough processing power to handle resource-intensive tasks like running multiple development environments and compiling code, but without sacrificing with battery life or mobility. So in this video, we have compiled a list and reviewed the top six best laptops for programming you can buy in 2025. For more information on the products, we have included links in the description box below. Let's get started. Number six, Asus ProArt PZ13. This two-in-one continues Asus's innovative streak, aiming to be an iPad Pro killer and a Surface Pro killer all in one. Your mileage may vary on whether it manages that, but it's an excellent laptop for programming either way with plenty of power under the hood and what's more all the accessories come included in the package so you don't get that feeling of being nickel and dime to death with optional extras cough apple it's swanky but it doesn't feel fragile the asus pro art pz13 weighs just 850 growers without the keyboard and comes equipped with the same lovely 3k oled 1610 touchscreen with 28 a 1800 resolution that we've seen on previous pro art devices it's a little lacking in ports which is somewhat to be expected given its size a couple of usb-c ports and an sd card reader are all you get while it's certainly not bad compared to other copilot plus laptops laptops, the Asus ProArt PZ13 definitely lags behind. It uses the lower-end Snapdragon X Plus processor rather than the shiny new Snapdragon X Elite, and you'll get more raw power from rivals like the Huawei MateBook X Pro listed above. However, the addition of an NPU does result in slightly faster load times. This was an absolute standout moment. We knew that Asus had improved the battery, but the results here blew us away. In our battery test, running streaming video on battery power with 50% brightness and volume, we managed to keep it going for a whopping 20 hours, 12 minutes. The Asus ProArt PZ13 retails for $1,999 to $1,999. However, as mentioned, for that price, you get all the extra accessories included. And by extra accessories, we mean things that are basically essential parts of the experience, like a keyboard, but that we have been trained to think of as optional extras in our ongoing collective death by a thousand microtransactions, which uh, uh, is a long-winded of saying that the ASUS ProArt PZ13 sounds expensive but is actually pretty good value. Number 5. Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio 2 The Surface Laptop Studio 2 is pitched at pros who need a highly capable Windows machine. Its display in particular is first class, with glorious resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate, helping give it that professional sheen. It can be configured with various CPU and RAM options, however it's a fairly middle of the road performer, as borne out in our testing. The pricing is also aggressive, lovely stuff. This two-in-one laptop looks and feels great with smooth chamfered corners and slimline edging that just feel fantastic. The two-in-one implementation actually works and the solid aluminum chassis is up there with the best in terms of build quality. The 14.4 inch screen packs in two-in-one pixels per inch for outstanding fidelity and quality. And our reviewer loved the plentiful legroom in the 3.2 aspect ratio. Running on the latest 13th generation Intel chips with RAM options from 16GB to 64GB, you'd expect the Surface Laptop Studio 2 to put in decent performance. And it does. Speeds in our benchmark tests were decent across the board. And that's just the trouble. For the money Microsoft is asking, we'd expect better than decent. You can get an M3 MacBook Pro for the same outlay, and you'll get much better CPU and GPU results than we got from the Surface Laptop Studio 2. Microsoft says the Surface Laptop Studio 2 offers 16 hours of battery life. Microsoft says a lot of things. In testing, our review sample lost 75% of its charge in a little over 5 hours, with even the basic configuration starting at a price of $1,999, $2,069, the Surface Laptop Studio 2 is not an idle purchase. 
Number 4, MacBook Pro 16 M4 Pro. The MacBook Pro 16-inch M4 Pro is a top-tier choice for programmers. Whether you're working on back-end systems, mobile apps, or machine learning models, it handles demanding workflows with ease and offers a beautiful display that makes staring at code for hours more bearable. Apple maintains its reputation for sleek, minimalist design with this unibody MacBook Pro. The 16.2-inch Liquid Retina XDR display delivers crisp text vibrant colors, and excellent brightness. Perfect for coding in any lighting conditions. And with MagSafe charging, Thunderbolt 5 ports, and an SD card slot, there's a practical mix of connectivity options. Our reviewer found that the M4 Pro M4 Max chips made multitasking seamless. So whether you're running multiple IDEs, debugging, in a virtual machine, or training machine learning models, you'll get fast and consistent performance from this MacBook. That said, all that power could be overkill for many, in which case you might be better off going for the more affordable, yet still powerful MacBook Pro 14 M4. Battery life is vital for programmers who find themselves away from power outlets. Apple claims 22 hours of media playback, and our tests showed it could last through a full workday even when handling demanding tasks. The MacBook Pro M4 Pro is not cheap. The base model starts at $2,499, with fully specified models reaching up to $7,349. But given what you're getting, the performance to price ratio still offers impressive value overall. Number 3, Asus ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLED. The Asus ZenBook Duo OLED 2024 breaks the mold with it a groundbreaking laptop featuring two 14-inch OLED touchscreens, allowing for unparalleled versatility on your workstation. Powered by Intel's latest Core Ultra 9 processor, it comes with plenty of RAM and storage to boot. Of course, the real hero of this clamshell are its dual screens, with both displays offering 2880 eggs, 1800 resolution, and 120 hertz refresh fresh rate. These configurable screens are excellent if you need to spread your applications and windows out while programming and the detachable keyboard only adds to its versatility. Loaded with the Intel Core Ultra 9 185H processor and integrated Intel, Archie Graphics, it may not match dedicated GPUs for more intensive tasks, but it's plenty capable for programming and testing. Plus, there's 32GB of RAM to ensure smooth multitasking. During our testing, the ZenBook Duo OLE a scored that's between the Apple M1 and M1 Max, making it on the higher end of power and performance, but not quite the beefiest option out there. On the one hand, we found the ZenBook Duo OLED's battery life impressive when using a single screen, reaching over 12 hours during our testing. However, using both screens at once will eat up battery life much quicker, so it's wise to keep it close to an outlet while using the laptop to its full potential. Reen Sessions. The Asus ZenBook Duo OLED 2024 starts at $1,699 and goes up to around $2K. While that's expensive, its form factor is almost entirely unique. Number 2, Acer Chromebook 516 GE. Combining powerful components with slick design, the Acer Chromebook 516 GE is the best Chromebook you can get for programming, with power enough to run even the latest Dark Show OA games. The big, beautiful screen is in all of the stars of the show here. The Acer Chromebook 516 GE's lovely 16-inch 120Hz IPS display is a pleasure to use even for long periods, punchy without being garish. The laptop looks a little drab at first blush, but on closer inspection the finish reveals itself to be two-tone brushed metal. It's understated, but rather nice. We tested the 12th gen Intel Core i5 build of the Chromebook 516 GE with 8GB RAM and a 256GB NVMe SSD. It's worth noting that there is a newer 12th gen Intel Core i7 model, which is also quite a bit more expensive, but we found performance from this version to be more than impressive. We put it through its paces in some intensive cloud gaming and found it performed admirably. While Chrome OS isn't really the most natural fit for coding, it's perfectly possible, and this Chromebook has the power to handle it, no complaints. The Acer Chromebook 516 GE puts in a good shift with its battery, lasting 8 hours and 5 minutes in our movie test. This is quite a bit better than most gaming laptops will do, and is enough to get a solid day's work without needing to run for a plug socket. At the same time, it's well behind the day-long battery life offered by the MacBook Pro 14 M4 2024 above. At launch, the Acer Chromebook 516 GE carried a retail price of $649 or $849 in the UK. However, we've seen some eye-catching reductions 
in recent years, to the point where it's been available for $449 in the US. It's currently hovering around $599. We haven't seen the same kinds of reductions in the UK, and it's also generally not as easy to find. Number 1. MacBook Pro 14 M4 2024 it's beautiful, bold, and built like a brick, all while managing to pack an incredibly long-lasting battery, solid performance, and a lightweight frame. It might sound like Apple's achieved the impossible, but this is an excellent all-rounder for programming. As long as you don't also need to do 3D work or video editing, this is the MacBook for you. Otherwise, consider its beefier sibling, the MacBook Pro 16 M4 Pro 2024, further down on our list. As you'd expect from Apple, the MacBook Pro M4 is stylish and sleek, presenting itself as a minimalist clamshell with maximalist capabilities, though not quite at the level of the MacBook Pro M4 Pro. It features a gorgeous liquid retina XDR display that offers clear text, excellent brightness, and vivid colors, making it an excellent choice for long coding sessions in any environment. It also has a solid port array, including MagSafe charging, Thunderbolt 5 ports, and an SD card slot, meaning there's plenty of room for your peripherals. In tests, our reviewers were very impressed by this laptop's single and multi-core CPU. Results, which are phenomenal for its price range and make it an excellent productivity or programming machine. But, and it's a big but, we should note that our reviewer was underwhelmed by its GPU performance, making it a less than ideal choice if you also want to do video editing or 3D work on this laptop. Thanks to the ultra-efficient Apple Silicon, M4 chipset, this MacBook Pro can keep going, offering a staggering 22 hours of battery life for general use. For programming, that's sure to provide you with enough power for the working day and then some. The MacBook Pro M4 base model starts at 1,599 euros, but can reach into the 2000s if you choose a higher spec model with more RAM or storage space, or opt for the nano textured display. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos.